This is the 2017 Range Rover HSE TD6. It is a six cylinder diesel with 240 horsepower and 420 pound feet of torque. And with me is Don <laughs> from Jaguar Land Rover. Hi, Don. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. Good, good, good. <laughs> I good. honestly uh, am excited to be in this Range Rover yeah. because I've driven the 2016 diesel mm -hmm. and I had it for a week, put 500 miles on it, and didn't even need to fill it up. Right. Right. And I did take it off-road a little bit, but never really seriously off-roaded it. So today I'm hoping we can take it to Trail 3 yep. and yep. experience everything that it's capable of doing. Well, we'll try. Okay. Now I notice uh, if I just take my foot off the accelerator, mm -hmm. we are... You have hill descent control on. We're... So hill descent control comes on automatically when you put it in low range with one of these different terrain response modes. So we have terrain response. So you can manually turn terrain response on or use it automat in automatic mode. So you have grass, gravel, snow, mud and ruts, sand mode, and rock crawl. You can change any of these at any speed except for rock crawl. Rock crawl has to be in low range okay. uh, for it to work. Also, you ha we have auto mode in terrain response. You can just put it into auto and it will do everything for you. But it'll go from rock crawl to to uh, grass, gravel, snow, depending on what it thinks it needs to be in. And you won't even be able to tell what mode it's in. Okay. And obviously the beauty of a Range Rover is its air suspension, which Correct. can raise this vehicle up right. four inches? It's, it's a five inch span from access mode up to off-road mode. So, and then also it has extended mode as well that raises up another inch. All right, so we have another feature when we get up here on these, um, through these articulation oh, holes. Wow. What's that? <laughs> it's a sensor. When you get close, it, it tells you that you're close. All right, so push this button right here, right there. Okay. This is called ATPC, All Terrain Progress Control. So it's like cruise control for off-roading. Okay. So now just hit your plus button there on your cruise control. Yeah. That sets it. Now just let your foot off the brake. No brake, no gas. Okay, here we go. It's nice and easy. It'll it'll take you right through here nice and easy. So just hit that plus button one more time. There there you go. go. Maybe once more. Excellent. Now look at that. Maybe the minus? <laughs> no, no, it'll okay, be good. Go. Yeah. It just has to has to work itself through so it's it's working out based on its attraction that it's sensing and correct it's sending power and then adding power correct wow all through the throttle now right all of our cars have four channel traction control so each wheel works individually so once one of those tires start to break traction the the brakes will come on slow that wheel down transfers the power over to the other wheel okay so it's always trying to get traction. Does this have skid plates? Because it's mm -hmm. a Range Rover? Yeah, okay. it has skid plates. And then how do we disable this aspect? We just hit that button. Yeah, again. you just hit that button or just drive or you can drive oh, right just through accelerate it. accelerate out. Yep. Okay. Yep. You can hit the brakes or you can accelerate it out. Now it's holding first gear for a long time so the car thought there for a while that you were in rock crawl because it was it was crawling through those because uh, we're articulation auto. mounds. Mm -hmm. It's automatically, mm -hmm. okay, waiting for the yep. next mogul, basically. Yes. Okay. Now, one thing is that the air suspension is also keeping the vehicle level at all times, right? And so in addition to the ride quality and the height, yes. Yes. It's, it's working with its own articulation, which we're seeing here on the mm -hmm. screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we have is, it's called a cross-link valve. In, in these cars and so when when this car is articulating through the rocks or those um, moguls or or articulation holes this valve opens up and it feeds all the other air into the other wheel so it's always trying to get traction so even though it's an independent suspension car it acts as a solid axle so it's articulating always trying to find traction with um, with each wheel. And then here we have some spring. Yeah, a little natural spring coming out the side of the hill. So make it a little muddy. Go a little left here. Yeah. 
Now you've got to remember this this car has complete street tires on it. There's not this is just exactly how you could buy this Range Rover from the uh, from the dealer. So we don't have mud terrain tires on it or anything and it didn't even slip a tire through there. Which is amazing with all that torque too from this mm -hmm. diesel. Well, this diesel is 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 fabulous and off-roading especially but then on the road you 29 30 miles to the gallon that's uh in a range rover it's pretty nice these here are awesome yeah they are they're really nice i like how in this diesel you just take your foot off the accelerator mm -hmm. and all that torque mm -hmm. goes to your favor when it comes to engine braking yeah you hardly have to ride the brakes on, on a right descent right but also we have hill descent control on on all of our vehicles that which work on road as well as off road so if we were driving through the ice we can turn hill descent control on on the highway it 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 times out at 30 miles an hour okay but once you come back down off of 30 miles an hour the hill descent control will come back on so if you were in on icy roads with somewhat of a downhill you could actually turn hill descent control on choose a gear manually and it will take you down that icy road um, under control wow yeah it's that's it's incredible it really is we've we've uh, done a lot of experimenting with that yeah you see a lot of these in urban situations yes. and then you hardly see them off road but a lot of people say well you spend that much money mm -hmm. you're not going to take it off road mm -hmm. I'm taking this one off road because mm -hmm. it's not mine. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, I think you know you're buying an off road vehicle to take it off road. Is is that? Do you see that happening with with Range Rover buyers? Well, absolutely, we do. You know, I I've, I've worked for Land Rover now for right at 30 years, and we've seen wow. this broad band of 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 owners from you know 1987 all the way to now and how many people have used their vehicles off-road now there's a lot of people people that aren't going to use them in real severe off-roading but there's a lot of people just right here in Texas that we have so many dirt roads the car rides nice it handles good it handles the snow the mud the ice and you know as well as I do we get a lot of ice storms here in Texas yeah. and you don't have to do a thing to the car you can you can leave it in auto in the terrain response mode or you can put it in grass gravel snow grass gravel snow actually detunes the engine makes traction control more sensitive and it'll take off in a taller gear it's all about trying to keep the tires from spinning so if you're in the snow or the or the ice the car will virtually keep you in control yes and and the best part is the suspension obviously i mean being on a road like this it's just all washboard and mm -hmm. it's got some ruts mm -hmm. here and there but mm -hmm. we're not really impacted by the vibration that comes from that and, correct and then when we do come across something that that would normally buck the vehicle it seems to be handling it to the point where i don't even know it's there and <laughs> well it's a lot easier on you isn't it yeah yeah and that's that's range rover right yes so i i experienced that myself when i tried to find my little off-road adventure the first time i had one ah but it was hard to find uh roads like this you mm -hmm. know so so uh diverse in this terrain here mm -hmm. today and that's it's great to have this ability to do this because i know what range rovers can't do and yeah well they do spoil you that's why I saved this one for last. <laughs> good, good, good. We saved the best for last. That's what we like. Right here, let's let's just hit this hill descent control button. Okay. Okay, right there. Now, hill descent control is going to keep you at two miles an hour, first gear low range. Yeah. Okay, so now you can you can speed it up with the cruise control button. There you go. There you go. And it'll take you down the hill. To what you feel comfortable with okay so now you can override that with the throttle or you can hit the brake it's it'll it'll do what it'll I override want. Okay. yes it'll do what you want 
but what this is what you would be going down on an icy hill. True. Okay, so it's going to hold you back because of our our, our four channel hill descent control and traction control, and they work virtually uh, one with the other. And now I've accelerated out of it, mm -hmm. and in order to get back into it, I just slow the vehicle yep. down to that speed range yep. I was at. Yep. Okay. So it's it's there all it, the it'll, time. It'll come back in. Yes. Okay. Yes. So well, not panic. all the time. It has to be. You know, it has to be turned on. Okay, so now it's on, mm -hmm. and then and then you accelerate out of it. But if you start yes. to panic again, yeah. and break down, it'll it'll yeah. rain it back. Absolutely. Like it is now. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's great. Yes. We've been in Telluride. We've been all over Colorado in the ice and the snow, and, and it's incredible. It, it really is. Now I normally don't drive this quickly over this kind of road, but <laughs> it's, it's, in this... well, you can't hardly help. Yeah. And we're not going too fast. We're going a comfortable speed, but it's it's not rough on you. Yeah, that's 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 why. the key. So the, the big thing is there's no fatigue at the end of this drive. We're gonna right. Be, right. We're gonna be ready to do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe no. you, no. but not me. <laughs> Tennis. Beautiful. Tennis. Beautiful. Now we're going to go through this water crossing right here. I know it's not deep, yeah. but the car is capable of going through 35 and a half inches of water. Wow. If you can believe that or not. So just I, shy of three feet of water. Just shy of three feet of water. And I've, I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that. And it's kind of scary when the water's almost up to the windows on the side of the car. <laughs> The SS Range Rover. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> the diesel I drove was just awesome. Mm -hmm. So smooth. It, 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 it is. It, it just has so much low end that it, when it comes off the line, it's just so smooth. And in the off-roading world, you know, we we take these cars many, many places off-roading. And it's it just works so nice and easy. That's, that's I think, that one of our biggest pluses uh, with the Range Rover products is everything works so nice and easy. Yeah. You know, it's easy to work. And everything works off-road as well as on-road. That's 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 the key here is that it's just as capable on-road as it is off-road. The only thing on-road on high range, you're not going to you're not going to be able to select rock crawl, rock, yeah. which is called rock crawl for a reason <laughs> you're gonna get out there and you're gonna crawl the rocks now are you guys seeing an increase in people who want diesel Range Rovers yes yes um, right now we're about 17% of our sales are diesel that's great it's real good it's real good what do you think the um, main reason for that is I think I think fuel economy and you know, and reliability. People want a uh, want a car that they can they can keep for a long time. But I think it's mainly just um, fuel economy. Yeah. And it just it does run so nice and easy. Yeah. Granted, it doesn't have the horsepower, the five hundred and ten horsepower supercharged car, but it it's it just runs you know easy. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> right? It's just simple. Yeah. Thank you. And this has auto stop start, so mm -hmm. when you're in traffic mm -hmm. and at a red light it shuts off. Yes. Is it does it disable that automatically when you're in low range? Yes it does. Okay, so yes. that's why it hasn't yes, kicked it in. Yes, it does. Okay. Yes. Good to know. You know, a lot of people have been coming over wanting to drive the diesel. So but listen to it. Oh I know. I mean you can't hardly hear it. Right. And, which is the beauty in, of this car is that even getting outside, standing next to it, you can actually talk around it, right? Because it's not loud. Let me give you a little bit of um, instruction here on what we do after we go off-roading. Okay. So we're in drive, correct? Yes. Pull your emergency brake first. 
before you put the car in neutral or park. This is going to keep you in control of the car at all times. Okay. And this emergency brake is a true emergency brake. Something happened to the driver, the passenger can actually pull it. It'll put the ABS brakes on. Okay. You can get it over to the side of the road, the passenger, and once it gets down to around two miles an hour, it'll it'll lock the brakes up. Okay. Now, as soon as you let go, it releases the brakes. So anyway, so we've got the emergency brake on. Okay. We're in control. So go ahead and go to neutral. You'll feel the transmission literally goes into neutral. The car's, you know, we've just gone off-roading. Mm -hmm. Now go into park. That puts all the weight of the car on the parking paw. I mean, not on the parking paw, but on the emergency brake. Okay. Okay. And then when we take off, we put it in gear and then release the emergency brake. That means that just keeps us in control of the car. It's not going to drive away. If you're talking and you let off the brake, it's not going to walk on you. So. Okay. And especially in low range. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Especially in low range. And rock crawl. <laughs> low range rock crawl. And then what's the cruise one called, this one here? This is ATPC, All Terrain Progress Control. Okay. So. Okay. I'll Cruise have to learn control that. for off roading. That's that's what we like to say. Yeah, because it is controlled by the it, cruise control. Yeah, yeah, control. Yeah. Okay. On the uh, door panel, all the way up. Yeah, hit that button. Now, when you hit that button, it'll go all the way into access mode. Okay. So it's lowering down that five inches from off road mode into access mode. It makes it which much we've stopped off roading, so we're not off roading. So. Now we don't have to jump out of the car. We can get in and out. Slide nice in and, and out. Nice, yeah. and, nice and easy. Now, it doesn't do that automatically when you open no. the door. No. This, th there's no programming for that. No. I think I've seen that on the older Range Rovers. Or is that not a thing? No. What happens is if when you open the door, it will stop going down. Okay. For safety. Okay. So if one of the doors are open or the tailgate's open, it won't raise it nor lower. Okay. Only when everything's shut up, okay. you know, and the key is on. So. Thank you very much, right. Don. Brian, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate the time. Same here.